Okay, we're here. Back in the kitchen, fellas. So anyway, there's been a shortage of arboreo rice for some reason. And like, this is all I have. This is fine, but like, I can't go anywhere. Can't go anywhere, it's not, it's not anywhere. Walmart doesn't have it. Kroger doesn't have it. Like, what the fuck? Why, why is that? It's so stupid. Okay, anyway. Today, we are going to make Chilean sea bass, mushroom and thyme risotto, and roasted broccoli. So we're going to get the oven on immediately for a couple reasons. First, we need to preheat the oven to 8,000 degrees. Very important. Second off, because the sea bass is really thick, I'm pretty sure. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, dude. Look at that. So that will not, that will not finish in the pan. So we're going to have to finish it in the oven. So today we have some mushrooms. First step, we want to wash these because they got a bunch of dirt on them. Or, you can just kind of eat them. It doesn't really matter. It does matter. But you, you definitely, you definitely want to, you want to wash it. You can do this though. It's good, man. I'm not going to though, because I don't want any moisture on my mushrooms. Remember we got, got a shallot and a gar. So, look at, look at what we got here. Look at these Five fucking ingredients that I have, okay? Fresh block of parm, mushrooms, thyme, shallot, gar. Let's go ahead and cut these up. Didn't even cut all these, like, properly. There's some stringies, whatever. Okay, these are almost perfect. That takes me back right there. That takes me back. Good old restaurant days. Now, see, here's what you can do with thyme. I don't like it, though. I don't, I don't prefer to do it. You can just, if you're making, like, soups, or, you know, if you're doing like a sachet, or you're doing like risotto or something, you can literally just throw this entire thing in there and then take it out with tongs. I don't, I don't really like doing that though. All right, you know what? We're not, we're not, we're not gonna listen to this. There we go. This is more fitting, right? Dude, don't do that. You're gonna break the knife. Now chat, what you can do is buy already pre-crushed stuff, you know? But I don't settle for mediocrity. The chopping technique? Just do it, man. It's to a point where you don't even have to look at it because you know what you're doing. I guarantee you there's some there there's there's some person in the chat that's just hoping to God that I cut myself. They're just like, I can't wait until he cuts himself. I can't fucking wait. I want him to cut himself. I want him to Blech. Right? I guarantee- I bet there is. I could be wrong. If I- even if I did cut myself, it's not even that bad. Like, it's whatever. I've done it plenty of times before. This is a shallot. Correct. It, it is. is! Yep. You can keep them whole, like that, or like, like, kinda, kinda coarse. Or you can mince them. We're gonna mince them. For a bit. Oh. That's what you want, though, because that way, I mean, you know, you know that they're fresh. Look, chat. Look at this. This is an entire cutting board of. Look at this. It, you, you, you would see this type of thing in a magazine. But look, look at that. Fresh Parmesan, garlic, thyme, mushroom, shallot. That's like it's just it's what you would see in a magazine. Now this is what's called a zester. You can do a lot of things with the zester. It can be used to grate, although grating it is, I'll show you the difference, because like when you take like grated, it's obviously gonna be a lot more coarse, but a zester makes it more fine. And you ever heard of like lemon zest or something like that? You can take like the skin of like an orange, like a lime or a lemon or something like that, and just like kind of zest it over there. It's more for garnish. A little bit of flavor, but I'll show you what this looks like after you zest it. Very fine. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not powder, but, mm, kind of. Hang on, I'm going to take a picture of this. These five ingredients are enough to score you a nice time that night. Hey, cat. I'm sure he does love the smell. He's going to like it even more whenever I bring out the fish. Okay, so what do we want to do next? So this, what we're going to do is we're going to blanch. We're going to blanch before, because... You know, this is probably going to take... Brock is probably going to take maybe like four 
minutes to blanch or something like that. And then I'm gonna put it straight into the oven to roast it. And that's gonna be like kind of a last minute thing. I'm gonna put it in at the same time as the fish. So when I start the fish and get it seasoning or get it, get it searing, I'm gonna start the brock. So I'm gonna get this nice and warm. Medium heat, not too hot. Hey! Okay, boys, are you fucking ready? Got white wine too. Because that's gonna be what we're gonna use to deglaze the pan. This is gonna be the pan that we sear the sea bass in. This is a very nice pan, all clad. Then the pan we're gonna make our risotto in. This little guy. Before we start making it, let's go ahead and cube. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and cube up our butter here. I'm not gonna use all of it. This is what you do though. Now that is a plate of extravagance. Woo! Okay, while we wait, let's go ahead and start putting our stuff away here. Let's get it going. Time to cook! Got medium high. Medium high heat. No, the cheese is not for the fish. The fish will not be seasoned with anything except for salt and pepper. If you really wanted to go crazy, I could make like a lemon bear blanc or something like that. I don't really like those though, so I'm not going to do it. Let's go ahead and begin. So, a little oil. One cube of butter. Then throw them in there. A little gar. A little shallot. And some mush. Should have put mush first. Really should have, but this is fine. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's put a lot of mush in there. That was, uh, fucked. That kind of went everywhere. That's okay, though. But right, fuck it. Let's put all the mushrooms in there. Woo! That smells fucking good! But then, so about this time, we want to do something called toasting the rice. Oh, yeah. That's, that's fine. So, toasting the rice involves... Getting it hot, because it smells like popcorn or so. It's good. At this point, let's bring up the heat to high. And throw in a tiny little pad of butter in there. It's for some extra, extra love. Put this fucker up to high. Okay. It's probably good. Now. You're ready. This is a process called deglazing. And then We begin to cook. You want to turn the heat down a little bit. So it looks like this. Oh man. <sighs> smells so good. That is, uh, yeah, it's nice. No, that's, this is chicken stock. This is chicken stock. A little bit more in there. And the, the deal is with, uh, risotto is that it, it, it takes it takes a it takes a minute to cook because arboreal rice it's nice well it's it's like a thicker grain so it requires a lot more absorption in order for it to cook through uh, pro tip though if you really wanted to speed run it you'd have a a stock pot filled with chicken stock already kind of warm you just dump it in there no time's lost now, it's the time that we want to get out our sea bass. So, the sea bass, oh my god. I'm gonna make a little more S and P.
Right. Just white wee. Light wee coat. Top of it. Each one. So. Here we go. We will call this sea bass sea sea bass or flower. So it's kind of looking like that right now. Um, like that. And this is probably maybe a third of the way done. We are simply just gonna add more stock. And a little boutoir. This risotto has a lot of butter and a lot of calories and a lot of flavor. I can pretty much start the sea bass whenever I want. Don't want to do it yet though. We want to start cleaning up, right? And and and, and fish. You know, you gotta cook it quick. Cause it goes bad real fucking fast, you know? It's not like McDonald's cheeseburger where you can hold it for 50 goddamn years and it just stays okay. You know, you gotta, you gotta cook that shit fast, you know? Go ahead and taste it. See how it's doing. You shouldn't, it, it, sh it shouldn't really have any flavor at all. And this is bullets. The fucking rice is bullets! So at this point, I wanna start my fish. Medium high heat. Because because uh, I haven't I haven't seasoned it. That's why it didn't have any flavor. I mean, it's chicken stock, garlic, shrooms. I mean, you taste all that stuff, but like it doesn't really have. Like it has flavor, but it's not seasoned. You know, our oven is ready to go. And here's the deal. Here's what we're gonna do. So and cooked fish, and then we are going to we're gonna take this we're gonna take the same pan. We're gonna we're gonna put, we're just gonna toss it in the oven, just like it is in the restaurant biz. You know, you just supposed to transfer, but we're not gonna do all that. More stock. And let's get about 20 more seconds to heat up. And then we're gonna cook with ghee. Ghee! Reason being is because clarified butter has a very, 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 very high smoking point. Which is good. So, put it in there like that. Put the bottom of the pan, like so. And then, the hot tub is ready. I'm gonna go and move that front. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Damn it! I love this shit, man. It's so good. Fucking love cooking, dude. All right. So now we throw in a brock. Pretty much what we want to do, we want to cook this. So one of them, you can see here that one of them is thinner than the other. So what we're gonna do to optimize, okay? We're gonna take one out before the other. But, here's the deal. There's a term called fumé. Fumé is French for fish stock or fish juice or whatever. Now, here's what's going on here. While this is cooking, that fond on the bottom of the pan is forming. So what we're going to do is we're going to deglaze with a little bit of white wine. That way, fumé can start to form. Whenever I finish it in the oven, it'll start to like form a bit and just, you know, more flavor. So this is almost done. Now for pan here, a little bit of... Almost done. Getting close! So, I'm going to pull this out.
Hell yeah. Oh, you can just smell it, dude. Oh my fucking god. So at this point, let's see what we got here. Risotto is perfect, so I'm gonna let all the moisture kind of cook out of it first, and then showtime. This is what you want it to look like. Right here. Like that. Put that shit on low, low. Now it's time for the time. Just a little bit. Okay, then Oh yeah, creamy! Do a little taste. It's a good season. And that chat is mushroom and thyme risotto. Done perfectly. Let that sit. Oh yeah, fish is good. Fish is done. So we can let it rest in the pan. Then here, let me let me show you a little trick. Watch this. This is called basting. You take the you take the fat or whatever your oil you cooked it in or whatever, and then you kind of base that onto the fish. Time for the plate. Holy fuck, that is good. Take our roasted brock. That's Chat. This is Joanne Seabass. Super! Who wants the other portion? All right, let's just throw it away. I'm not hungry. So here's the thing, is that on the side, as far as broccoli can go, like you can take it out immediately, get another pan going, or use the same one that you used the fish in. Probably not that, probably not though. But you can get another pan going, put in some butter, some garlic, whatever, and you know, just uh, do, do, it, do a quick flash in the pan, season, salt, pepper, stuff like that. But, me, I just like, I like this. Just like that, man. No? You gotta see what they do. They, look, look at what they're doing. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, the moisture. That bite like melted in my mouth. Okay, it it melted. Oh, god, damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Look at look how that looks. Man. Okay. So. This would be this meal right here, depending on where you are. This could be like 40 to 60 dollars. Now, this is it, it's butter, parmesan, you now some mushroom scrap, shallot, garlic, and thyme. This is a this is a cutting board uh, filled with this full of love. This is all the trash, that's all of it. I don't cook like this all the time, no, not at all. Because this is like fancy cooking, you know, high calorie and stuff. You know, it's it's fancy French food. This isn't really part of my diet. See, here's the, here's the thing about this about this meal is that there are foods that are so rich that you really just 
like this right here, uh, okay, I, I can eat a lot, but like, I don't want to eat like anymore. I I'm like satisfied. You know, maybe a couple more bites, but like, it's so, it's so fucking rich, man. And you know, you, do, you don't just mack on this food. Like you take like a few bites and you're like, well, I mean, you know what? Chat, if you want to come here and finish it off, I'd be more than happy to welcome you into my home. I don't mean that. If you happen to know where I have where I live, which is really weird, don't fucking come in here. Don't do that. Too late.